Alright, ladies and gentlemen, here is a demonstration of my Rubik's Cube. This is a little thing I uh, got for Father's Day last year, and I just had to make one on Second Life. And I took a look around to see if I couldn't find one, but they weren't exactly professional ways. So, this is mine. First things first, you have a normal little master cube. Just click it once, it'll ask you if you want to keep uh, the Rubik's panel which you don't need it but it's always fun to have and it creates your Rubik's Cube right there we go nifty little commands that we have here are mix which will shuffle it all up for you and it'll do uh, 20 to 40 random turns uh, each one is a true turn just like our actual Rubik's you can't just toss a square wherever you want you have to stay in a certain pattern and that'll mix it up for you. The next command that I'm going to show you is reset, which will put all the squares back to their original position. That way you can fix it if you need to. And how the Rubik's Cube works. All right, each one of these is a face. All right, the blue face is the front. Okay, so you're going to have front, right, left, back, up, and down. And the way these commands work, if I type in front just by itself, it will turn it clockwise. So I'll type F, enter. It turned it once clockwise. If I want to turn it counterclockwise, I'll type F, I, front inverse. And it'll turn it the opposite direction. Same thing with all the sides right, right inverse, left, left inverse, back, back inverse, up, up inverse, and down, down inverse. So it actually moves true to a Rubik's Cube. So a couple of simple little logarithms would be right inverted, down inverted, right, down. And I can actually type that all in sequence and it will do the the whole sequence for me. And if I keep going, right inverted, down inverted, right, down, right inverted, down inverted, right, down, right inverted, down inverted, right, down, right inverted, down inverted, right, down. If you keep repeating, you will eventually come back to its original position, just like an actual Rubik's Cube. Uh, the other commands are die, D-I-E, which destroys the cube, in which case you'll have to click it again or get rid of your original box. And that's my demonstration on my Rubik's Cube. Have fun.